This video is about simplifying expressions using product notation. Your learning objective is to simplify algebraic expressions in multiplication. When simplifying expressions in multiplication, there are some rules that you need to follow. The first one is that when you see the multiplication symbol, you need to remove it or leave out the x symbol. Then all the variables must be arranged in alphabetical order. For example, a times c, the variable, the multiplication symbol also looks like the variable x. So we need to take it away so that you can just write a times c as a c. So when you, do, when you don't see a symbol between variables, it means it's multiplication. Another example, b times 3a. So you need to remove the multiplication symbol and then you need to write the number first and then arrange your variables according to alphabetical order. So that will be 3ab. Another example, 2b times negative 4a. Look at the constants. So multiply 2 to negative 4, which is a negative 8, and then write a first and then b so your answer should be negative 8 a b another example 2 times a plus 3 times b using the order of operations we multiply first before we add so we're going to multiply 2 to a and so we can just write it as 2a copy the plus symbol or the addition symbol 3 times b removing the multiplication symbol which will become 3b so it will look like 2a without the symbol plus 3b. Another example is 2 times open bracket a plus b close bracket. We are just going to remove this multiplication symbol so it will look like 2 then your brackets a plus b. Okay, so you just remove the multiplication symbol. In the same way, you need to understand that whenever there's no symbol, operational symbol, then that means it's multiplication. Okay, then we still have one more rule, and that is if you're mu multiplying the same variable, use index or exponent to exp when you simplify it. So, for example, a times a times a, we are removing the multiplication symbol. Let's count how many a's did we multiply. We have one, two, three. So you can just express it as a raised to the third power. Another example, we have this very long expressions. So let's look at the constants two and three. Let's multiply them. So two times three is six. And then let's count the number of a. We are removing all the multiplication symbols x. So we have 1, 2. So it's a squared. And then the number of b's are 1, 2, 3, 4. So it's b raised to the fourth power. If you don't see the x as multiplication symbol, you might see the dot. Okay? Then... Like this example, instead of the multiplication symbol x, I use the dot. So this means m times m, and m times m can be expressed as m squared. And then you have the subtraction symbol, 5 times n times n. You have 5 n to the second power. You cannot simplify this anymore because these two terms are not like terms, so you can't put them together. Remember that whenever you are simplifying expressions, always follow the order of operations. Either you know PEMDAS or BEDMAS. Okay.